got ourselves chill pills over for the team one ready to go on that team we got ourselves explosions we got ourselves oh i am a big fan <laughs> as an arcade page we got ourselves uh weg we go we go we go jim we go jim i guess we're gonna call you jimmy with kiosko as well chill is gonna be first though versus strand what is going on wait a second what the hell strand got himself a uh, rally cry in the middle of it not a literal rally cry not a warrior rally cry but like a hunter rally cry is he dc'd wait a second feign death for a second looks at chill pills is gonna get hit with a freezing shot looks like strand was trying to do something i'm not really sure what is strand trying to see if he could potentially maybe maybe go for a bit of a reset get himself a little bit more healing manic better just try to recover from the spoons i don't even know what happened to him at the very beginning the chipper just walked in there and just started rolling that boy and that's gonna be stranded with a bit of a uh, scattered shot which I'm so not used to for survival hunters to be able to scatter shot gonna be triples trying to break out of those bonds with the free with a remote switcher locking out the bones of strand just freezing them shut freezing them together unable to move for a second and it's only enough it gives him enough time in order to be able to take him down Chicago gonna be up next trying to see if he can catch up to chill pills maybe he can get enough damage in there versus a death knight trying to see if they can maybe potentially overpower him trying to see if we can blast him out knocking him up in the air as the ams comes out but in the last second does get the knock chicago trying to see if they can potentially get themselves a little bit more maelstrom while they're playing out to the cool tour of mind giving them bonus versatility which is actually quite valuable but also a knockback with a big haymaker which could be pretty good you would try to give yourself a bit of extra defense so try to go for a haymaker as is your triples trying to see if you can set up your emotions winter trying to go for the grip but the roots do keep him in place Try to knock Chilpa's out, but looks like with the remorse, with the death's advance, he's able just to keep trucking, keep walking towards Chicago. Got himself a little bit of damage to go for the prox. Silence on Chicago. The Chicago is able to break away from him, going for the quick sunder just to disrupt Chilpa's for a moment so in order to get himself a bit of an escape. And as soon as they find out that they actually have an advantage over Ch oh, Chilpa's, they're just on that chase. On that chase versus the Death Knight. Got them feral spirits on the hunt and everything. Chicago trying to see if they can potentially catch up. Chilpa is burning that a chain of ice immediately as soon as he sees him. Just trying to keep the chain of ice from rolling on the shaman. Knockouts by Chicago. Does try to go for a monster winter, but this should be pretty bad for Chicago. It's going to be full burst by the death end. Do the chicken out of it. Pretty wallet it. Maybe that'll be enough. Do they need to trick it? Does not need to trick it. Got himself the earth shield ready to go with a lightning shield together, yeah? Both of them hovering around the shaman. Chilpa is trying to see if he can crack through the defenses of this enhancement. Shamansman. As he got himself the full runic power the full pillar build as well as a runic weapon i'm surprised he's not going for two charters of runic weapon but i guess at that point you would have to commit super hard into a frosty play style don't you trying to go for a little bit of a uh, recovery there with his health death pack kind of limited on how much he can heal but it's going to be chicago knocking him up in the air denying you as a couple of globals of burst with the silence to follow maybe pressure on chicago does get cleaved down and obliterated the end that silence that follows the full lockdown rotation is so brutal man it is actually so tough to follow up it is tough to deal with this is going to be next looks like actually team two is getting just torn apart here with chanka going to be up next trying to see if he may be able to get himself that arms warrior gameplay warriors actually on the dragon flight i've seen a ton more defensive bonuses like in general because like you take damage you actually give yourself quite a bit of healing gonna be a parry immediately for chanka trying not to go for a trinket immediately just using the parry to maybe give himself a bit of a defense charging out towards chill pills but it's kind of letting the frost fever dots rot him down gonna be chanka picking up a little bit of healing from chills may go for a trinket out of the stun trying not to give it him to him immediately got himself the dragon's breath maybe a bunch of bleeds looking to maybe burst down chill pills potentially got himself the big bleed gameplay it's gonna be chill pills seeing chanka go for trying to slay the uh, uh soul it got himself that some kind of carrying damage radiating around him or something it's gonna be taking quite a bit of damage to disarm onto chill pills with a blind to follow as chanka has no health death cause him at the end as he gets hit with the disarm super unfortunate for chanka but i saw him try to use the uh jailer's gavel weapon so i thought that was interesting filippo charging in immediately disconnects looks at chupas backs out as soon as he sees him dc as soon as he sees felipe running place he backs up for a second though we didn't realize that felipe is apparently on his end is still playing the game so i wonder if felipe's damage actual fall through was chill pills or if it was just like the game kind of had him in a dc state for a second i wonder but chupas trying to see if he can play defensively sacrificing the ghoul 
Maybe he's gonna go for a big stun into Falupa. Silencer follow. Try to deny him. Actually gonna reverse and silence back on Chupa's very interesting move with that magic. Reverse magic is kind of big. Into a haunt. Chupa's trying to see if he can survive and got himself lots of damage. Rod him down. AMZ just trying to see if he can walk away for Falupa. Definitely needs to get into the AMZ to reduce the magic damage as best possible. Got the full haunt dot draining him. It's gonna be pretty tough to recover. Chupas definitely needs himself as much of our ability as possible. Does he have anything to follow? Guns on Chain of Ice. Stone onto Falupa. Maybe he can make some work off of you. Gonna be a demon spawning in. This Falupa can just slay it anytime they want to. Got himself the backup for extra bonus souls that he can just devour and consume. And the demon doesn't even care for light side. Slaying it very quickly. Imprisoning onto Chupas as well as Silence to follow. Trying to deny the death at any recovery. But Chupas is very limited on what he can do. Trying to see if he can just walk away from Falupa. Got the Chain of Ice to slow him down. That's the best he's got. And Philippa may just have him here. AMS is up for Chill Pills. Trying to reduce some of the chaos damage, but the physical damage is still going to go right through. The demon joining in. And potentially maybe Philippa getting hit with a stun. So Chill Pills just walking away from him. Demon joining in. That, uh, what is it called? Urzul trying to see if he can just claw at Philippa. Stun around the corner. I think it's over. As Philippa does end up slaying him. Chill Pills was, I think, caught maybe lacking some cooldowns after the warrior. So maybe for Philippa that was enough to give him just a slight advantage. In order to be able to turn the tide. OMG, big fan. Gonna be up next. Big Arcane Surgery for Falupa. Try to see if he can blast him out. Miss out to fall. Getting locked out on Arcane. Does go for a fire breath. Knock it back. The Demon Hunter are after. It's gonna be in a prison. As he got himself the ultimate time. Ready to go. Falupa trying to see if he can just see if he can just slide quite right through him. May need more defenses. Falupa had no help whatsoever. Trying to see if he can haunt over. OMG, big fan. Does go for a big barrage. He does get hit with a haunt. But the barrage does go through. With the Feral gonna be up next. Trying to go for the most amount of bleeds possible. Not burning Berserk just yet. So OMG Big Fan could be in a bit of trouble. Has Ice Book if he, in case he needs to. And may just have to use it right there. Very limited of what he can do right now. As he does have Claws ready with the Berserk. He could just go for the most amount of bleeds. And just rot down the Mage. Absolutely claw him down. Arcane Orb around the corner. OMG Fan trying to see if he can blink past him. Blink it back next to Claws. And it's going to be a full touch of the magic missiles to follow. Just kind of making sure he maximizes the value of that touch of the magic. And knocking the Feral back, which is actually huge for Arcane Mage. Walk and walk cast it. It is so good. With a Frank of Frost, he's able to place it while moving. It's so good, dude. Ice flows is so good. It's so good for PvP. Dude, talk about actual skill cap ability. I, kept, I kept said it yesterday, but today, man, it's just... You got Blink, you got Ice flows, you got so much movement. You got the ability to break out of stuns. You can use a rotation while still on the run. Cyclone trying to come out for claws. Try to deny OMG Big Fan the ability to alter back. And he actually chooses to trinket it. Choose to trinket so maybe claws can lock him down. Maybe in a bash. I think with a blink it's going to be very hard to bash a mage. But potentially, it opens the opportunity for it. Try to see if he can leap over. Maim does try to see if he can take him down. Just taking all the arcade damage all around him constantly. Just constant pressure of that thing. And OMG trying to see if he can back up out of the big barrage of the claws. Actually get him so low. Does he take him out right there? Barrage. Oh, ho, ho. my goodness. That arcade execute damage is so good, chat. Oh, my goodness. Chupo's coming in three, but does get taken down by Filippo with an arcade mage coming back out at the very end just to finish up the job. Very well done, boys. Very well done, everybody. Let's get another going here. Let's get another one going, boys.